I love setting. It's my favorite part of the game. I think I do a good job of leading my team. I'm kind of like the quarterback of my team, so I make the plays, I call the plays, and I just lead my team on the court. She was the genesis point of a 34-win campaign and a Champaign News Gazette special mention All-Stater as a sophomore last fall. Moving into her junior season now, Annie Eaton's goals are far more ambitious, as in helping Q&D get over the hump to the state final four for the first time since 2018. I think we've definitely learned it. You know, you really have to be a team and you have to stay together the entire game, especially when you're that close. You know, it's in your fingertips and you can just feel it slip away. And I think we really felt that these past couple years we haven't been necessarily all together like we need to be. With her broader varsity experience and extensive club volleyball accomplishments comes heightened game feel this season for Q&D's on-floor maestro. I've improved so much from my freshman year and my comp confidence from that has really raised and I think all my teammates have helped me build my confidence. They've put a lot of trust in me and if they can put trust in me, then why shouldn't I be able to? And as some of the Lady Raiders attacking pieces have changed, Annie feels compelled to create better inner balance on the Lady Raider front line. You know, I definitely have to um, realize on my team who's on that night, who's going to be our best hitter, who's going to, you know, get us the most kills. But I also have to pay attention to the other side of the court. You know, who's the biggest blocker on the other side? And if someone's off with a huge blocker in front of them that night, I definitely don't want to, you know, put them in situations to get to let the other team get stuff blocks and you know that really puts our hitters down and ruins their confidence so I think it's a mix of both on our side and the other. Feeding of course returning star Emma Hoeing but also creating alternative threats. I just think we need to keep building confidence especially in our younger hitters. We have new faces everywhere and so I think Emma's going to be a great leader. She's going to show um, everyone at the, at the net how to how to play and how to stay steady throughout games, and I think she's just going to help them a lot with that. There's also the matter of shoring up a Q&D back line hit very hard by graduation. I think we're going to be all right. We have um, some new faces in the back row, but I think you know we're really going to help them build their confidence back there and just stay steady the entire season. Beyond the cerebral, she also brings an uncommon athletic ability to the work. I think I just have to be very steady on the court. I have to get to a lot of balls because you know, my back row is not always going to have a great game and the other team is really going to um, dial in on a bad passer maybe that night, so I have to be able to be athletic and get to certain balls that maybe people wouldn't expect me to get to. There is also Annie Eaton's track record as a proven winner to consider here as well, having been part of team titles in basketball in junior high and soccer as a high school freshman. But from last fall forward, her athletic purpose became singular and year-round. I, I love getting there with my other teams, but it's not the same as volleyball. Volleyball just has my heart in a special way, so I think that really just drives me to get there with this team and this sport because I love it so much. There's also a bright future for Annie Eaton in the sport beyond her high school days in two years an architecture which she's only now beginning with which to wreck it. As a volleyball program, I just want something that feels like a family and feels, you know, like a home away from home. I want my coaches to just really love me, but also push me to be better and push me to be better on the volleyball court, but also off, um, because at the end of the day, volleyball is not everything. I've worked really hard to get to the point I'm at, and I just want to keep getting better and better, and I don't want to just stop at a certain level. I want to, you know, keep improving, and my love for that has just really driven me.